Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having an awesome day so far. In today's video, I will be talking to you all about my experience and my review of this Overtone hair product that I've seen on Instagram. Um, it's a pretty cool concept, so I bought into it and I'm here to share with you what I think of it. Um, so let's get into the video. Before we get into the video, I know this is not my giveaway makeup video yet. I have a lot of great ideas for videos, which I'm obviously filming, but I cannot make myself film that dang video. I don't know why, um, but I will get to it sometime. Just be on the lookout for it. I'll get to it. I'm going to get to it. But anyway, if you haven't subscribed already, please make sure that you do and let's get into the video. All right. So the product that I bought is the Overtone Rich Black Color and Conditioner. And that is exactly, <sighs> that is exactly what it is, is a color and conditioner. Uh, let me go down to my details here so I can read you what their website says. So this is a hydrating pigmented conditioner, not a trace of bleach or lightener in sight, so color results will vary based slightly on starting hair color. It transforms on wet or dry hair. Um, you're supposed to just put it on and leave for 10 to 15 minutes and then wash it out. They do have a tip saying that if you haven't dyed your hair before and this is your first time to do it on dry hair, um, that way you get a little more pack, a little more a little more pack in that punch. Um, and then it is 100% vegan and cruelty free, effective on all hair types and curl friendly. Um, it is ammonia, paraben, and sulfate free, which is nice. And then the only real disclaimer they have on their website is that it may not cover your grays because it's a deposit only formula. Um, review wise on their website, they have 3.3 out of five stars, but 100% of people would recommend the product to a friend. So I'm not sure where that discrepancy is coming from. And then they have a whole page of the ingredients, which I will leave linked down below. All right, so it retails, my tub of stuff that I bought retails for $29. Um, it did get here pretty quick, so shipping was reasonable. Um, I'm gonna start off with the things that I like about the product. I like the price. I like the price because I got two uses and two different applications out of the one jar, which is nice. Um, I don't have a super long hair anymore, but I also don't have very short hair, so I'm kinda in that mid-level up to you to decide what my hair length is and um, my hair is also not super thick so just keep that in mind um i like that it has a scent to it it smells like peppermint to me it smells minty it smells really fresh and really clean but not necessarily the fresh and clean that you would want on your hair but i'm not mad about it um so it does smell minty so if you're a person who um is really sensitive to scents or just doesn't like scented products, this might not be for you, so fair warning. At least I know the black one does have a scent to it. Um, I like that it's very easy to use. I used gloves because it's black, um, and even though it says that it doesn't stain, I'm gonna get into that. Um, so I would just recommend using gloves. They're easy to buy. Just buy them at Walgreens or Target or wherever. Slap your gloves on, slap the product onto your hair. I let it sit for a little bit longer than 15 minutes, probably closer to 20, just because um, I bought the product not to, not, I'm not worried about the rest of my hair, just for my roots. I kind of wanted to eliminate hair dye altogether, um, which I don't think is a very realistic idea anymore, um, which I'm gonna get into, but I bought it mainly for my roots, and then I just, the rest of it was a hair mask. Um, which really is what it is is a hair mask that deposits color. I like the way that my hair feels after I wash it out I like how Just literally that you can use it at home You don't need to be a professional cosmetologist or a licensed cosmetologist or even have hair experience to do this It's so easy. So I like the ease of it. I like the price. I like the smell. I like the color after a few days Now we're gonna get into what I don't like like I mentioned the staining if you're putting anything black in your hair, just for the love of God, even if it's a hair mask like this, wear gloves um, because you're going to get some type of discoloration on your hands, which it's black. Um, so obviously I'm a very pale, paler person. So if I'm touching black cream, good chance I might get my hands stained. Um, and it might not even be the black that stains your hands. It might be the undertone, which was the issue for me because my hands had a purpley tint. Um, and I do not mind the purple undertone. I think that's actually, I think blue black and purple blacks are really pretty, but 
let me show you a picture of my of my part that I took after I washed it out and this was after my second time using it what I the how do I explain? So I got this product, used it, said okay, then I tried regular hair dye, then I said, you know what, no, I'm gonna go back and use this product again. So this was my second time using it, and I knew going into it that I was gonna really have to scrub my scalp. So this scalp that I'm showing you a picture of was scrubbed, honey. Um, so it did not want to come off, which again, is I can appreciate that. However, I would have appreciated that stick on my hair better than on my scalp and I think where I went wrong with this product was going into it thinking that I could use it to replace a hair dye which is not the case um, because it is a mask so it's going to continue to or it's a conditioner so it's going to continue to wash out and wash out and wash out and wash out and you know for like the next week or so I really saw a lot of purple in the shower and I was like well what the heck's going on here um so yeah I guess in terms of a coloring conditioner it does a great job it deposits good color um, my roots are covered for now it matches the rest of my head which I put the product down on the rest of my head anyway um, it's been like a good week since I've used the product I don't have an overly strong purple undertone to my hair my hair is just black now um, <coughs> but I will say for being black, it doesn't really grab on like under my hair here. I've got like my dark hairs covering them as, as best as I can, but I get really like red and blonde up here naturally, just what grows out of my head. Those, those hairs are back and I can't decide if A, it's new hair or B, if it just didn't cover that hair well enough, um, which you would think it would because it's virgin hair and it's a black coloring product so you would think it would but I guess in terms okay in terms of a hair dye I'm gonna give this product a 6 out of 10 in terms of a hair coloring mask I'm gonna give this product a 9 out of 10 because it's a mask it's a conditioner it is not a hair dye so don't buy it thinking that you're going to be able to replace any hair dye I'm so sorry <clears throat> just excuse me while I die yeah I think that that's about all I have to say about the product so Again, just a real short, quick review. 29 bucks, I got two uses out of it. I like the smell, I like how it makes my hair look, I don't like how it stains, and I don't like how there's so much color payoff, you know, for the week to follow. Whereas if I did a normal hair dye, I pretty much could get any excess rinsed out of my hair in the first few days. And then I don't have to worry about black hair dye running down my weight tub. Um, yeah. I don't know if I would recommend this to a friend um, I think it would depend on what that friend wanted. If it wasn't something permanent like me trying to dye my roots, then yes. If they just wanted to screw around and play with their hair color, then yes, I would recommend it because it'll wash out, it'll fade away, and in about a month or two, I'm going to have like roots that are out to here that need to be dyed. So, that is all I've got to share with you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the review and I hope it gives you a little bit of clarity. And yeah, so don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. We're so off, but not this.